um, as in the part of SQL Server uh, tutorial, uh, just I want to explain um, the overview of SQL Server. How SQL Server um, it will work, right? get straight into it in this course SQL Server is what we will be using as our database engine database engine consists of a relational engine that process SQL queries and a storage engine see the database engine consists of a relational engine relation engine that processes SQL queries and a storage engine so here that manages the data we store in the database. The storage engine is responsible for the storage and retrieval of data from the storage system. Here, um, if you have a computer with a Windows operating system, then you will be using an application called SQL Server Management Studio. By using uh, SQL Server Management Studio (SSMS), SQL Server SSMS. You if you want to work with um, MySQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server and SQL Server, uh, these two should be required, uh, SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio. So SQL Server Management Studio is nothing but the interface to execute uh, commands. This is SSMS, SSMS, see you can set SSMS, SSMS, after installation you will find SQL Server Management Studio. We have to install both SQL Server and SQL uh, Server Management Studio SMS, right? This is only the GraphQL user interface, and we will be using uh, SSMS to write our SQL queries. In other words, we can use SMS as a convenient tool for uh, querying and man managing data which is stored in SQL Server. Alright, uh, so if you have a Apple Mac computer, then you will in instead, instead be installing Azure Data Studio. If you are using ma Apple Macro, uh, Mac computer, um, instead of SSMS, you have to install Azure Data Studio to uh, uh, manage all the queries, to execute the queries and all. Um, managers will need to run SQL Server in a Docker container. That is a different topic. Um, this is all covered in the lecture. Our next lecture we will cover how to set up SQL Server database on a Mac, uh, Mac computer using Docker and all. Uh, you can find later. Let's see uh, Windows computer. How to install and uh, all this course. Here in here I am using SSMS because I am using Windows operating system. Um, let's go to the structure of SQL Server. See. Um, so starting from the left hand side we have the server which should be a physical or virtual server it will be a physical or virtual server then on the server we have one or more database engine instances one sir one one database engine or two three four so many engine uh, database engines you can have an instance is a copy of the SQL server executable that runs as an operating system service right instance is nothing but an SQL server see the instance manages several systems databases system databases several system database and one or more user databases right later um, see um, here this is this is one instance micro um, my server SQL server right this is SM in this SM SSMS you can find so many databases system database database snapshot sample database i will i will tell how to install sample database and all see one instance can contain many number of uh, databases right um, in this course we are just going to be using one user database one user database which is called sample database right Sample database. I will tell how to uh, install, how to put sample database in your SQL Server. Database in SQL Server is made up of collection of tables and 
are stored out data database is ser sql server database in sql server is made up of collection of tables database is nothing but is a small entry question what is database database is nothing but collection of tables right we can also have various other types of objects in our database such as views store position indexes etc so many are there uh, then within our database we have what is called schema schema in sql server so schema is something which belongs to a database and it's a collection of logically related database schema is nothing but something belongs to a database schema database consists of schema see uh, sql server uh, uh, server consists of databases database consists of schema schema is nothing but collection of logically related database right schema setting but i already explained see in this is database in sample database bird bird dot antarctic population bird dot hcm dot these are the schemas in this database oes hcm oes these are the schemas right In other words, the schema as a way of categorizing objects in a database. See, you can think of a schema has been like a folder in a database. You can also treat like a schema is nothing but a folder in a database, and within a database, each object needs to uh, belong a schema. An example in our sample database, one of schema is called bird, and simply has tables related to bird sightings like uh, bird related information right how to set up sql server ssms on windows computer let's see how to set up um, ssms in windows computer uh, see SQL Server installation and setup. Two things you have to install. One is SQL Server Express, SQL Server Manager Studio. Two things you have to if you want to work on SQL SSMS, uh, SQL Server. If you want to learn fulfilly, these two things should be installed. It's very uh, uh, small storage only. It, it takes uh, install SQL Server Express, install SQL Server Manager Studio. Right? This is a free version of SQL Server that is ideal for students learning how to write SQL uh, in SSMS. Let's see. We will then install SQL Server Management Studio, which is often referred to as SSMS, SQL Server Management Studio SSMS. Uh, okay, in this lecture, we will be creating a sample database and performing an example query also. Let's see. Now, some students have trouble creating the database, and the most common issue is that they are not using an administrator account. So, explain for that. Uh, whether it is administrator account or not. So see, when installing SQL Server Express Edition, it's essential to use a Windows administrator account to ensure that all required permissions are granted. How, so how it Windows is in administrator or not? Your account is in administrator mode or not? Just la let's check your account. Ensure that all required permissions are given granted. To check whether it is in a uh, administrator mode or not. To check if you log into an administrator account, click on the start menu and then select settings, click on accounts under under your info, there should be information about your account type. If it is space administrator, then you have administrator rights, right? Once you yeah, once you completed your checking, as if your computer is in administrative mode, just log into your administrator uh, if you don't administrative mode administrator account if you don't have one at all then you need to create one uh, it's uh, it is a very easy uh, to create an administrator account see see 
होती है अकाउंट फिक्स पर ए फिफ्टी वाई वी एन टी एस अकाउंट योर अकाउंट इनफो यू कैन गो गो टू योर अकाउंट इनफो सी माई अकाउंट इनफो इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर राइट यू नो लाइक दिस यू कैन चेक राइट इफ यू आर इट इज नॉट इन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव मोड यू कैन um login you can create a new account with your email id no problem just uh, create a new email id and uh, give the access as an administrator right that's it uh it's worth checking that you are logging into the administrator account first uh let's google how the uh, sql server express uh like sql server express google it and search for sql Ex express uh, click on sql server downloads just make sure that it's on a microsoft doc, uh, dot com or uh, later uh, scroll down and here express edition is there sql server express is a free edition of sql server uh, like now by time you are watching this video there might be a version of sql server express or some next version will be there but same uh, same thing you have to follow down or click on download and that file uh, was downloaded click on that file download file and um, here uh, to install sql server express we may we just need to right click on this file and then select run as an administrator run it okay click on run as an administrator if you get any prompts to make changes to your device just select as Uh, for this course we just need the basic installation uh, like this basic expression i uh, express will get basic custom download media basic uh, is en enough for this click on basic uh, you can read through the license uh, terms and you can just accept all all those and you can just leave it on the default installation or you can uh, you can change that location also uh, no worries and this may take a little bit time to download uh, later after completion of the download so installation has completed successfully sql server expression server was completed so uh, here you can see that the ins instance name is sql express that name server that we will connect to in the next video uh, so we need to install sql server management studio so um here usually we can click on this install button here to take us to a web page uh, where uh, we can download uh, ssms right uh, you can click on there however at the time of recording this video this is a broken link uh, so instead we are going to go back to google and search for ssms i am going to close this here I click on back button here and just uh, search for SQL Server Management Studio, uh, SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, click on that uh, Microsoft uh, website, uh, which uh, learn dot Microsoft dot com. Scroll and scroll, just scroll down a little bit, and you should uh, see under download SSMS a link to download. Again, if there's a more recent version, then just download that. I am going to click on this. Uh, this might take a bit of time to download. Uh, so on the mission, it's been uh, we can see that the progress bar is uh, about halfway. I will just wait for that to complete. That looks like it's finished the download. Uh, click on the slow and the folder icon. Search to download setup. Uh, the MS setup here. Uh, just double click on it to start the install. Double click. Change if you want to change the location. You can change it. Based, uh, it depends on your uh, memory. I'm going to click on close. Okay. Now we got both SQL Server Express and SSMS installed, right? We can close this. So okay. So on your computer, just search for SSMS. It should come up in your list of apl applications. SSMS like that. create a shortcut on the desktop so you can go right click open oh, i'm sorry 
click on show more options or time to click on desktop create shortcut so that will create a shortcut on the desktop you can pin to the taskbar also uh, if i go as sms we can just select pin to taskbar then it will pin it to down here so that we, this tutorial um, next tutorial we are going to be open up sql server right let's stop here